Oh boy, I tried to go over to the Tron Dow Reserve and give them a paperclip and a bottle cap as collateral so I can get some USDD. The paperclip and bottle cap I got over on Terra from UST when I withdrew. They said, nah, we don't take that here. They only accept a dollar's worth of Tron. I was kind of like, oh, well, I guess that's how the game is played. I hope they don't give me a bottle cap and a paperclip when I leave. In today's KuCoin DigiDive, we're going to be talking about USDD. And is it going to disrupt the stablecoin space as we know it? Is it going to replace them all? Or are we going to have another collapse like UST? If you guys are ready to go ahead and get started trading, links in the description below. It'll give you 20% off trading fees, baby. Let's go ahead and go over USDD. In order to mint $1 worth of USDD, you must deposit $1 worth of TRX. It's the same mechanics as Luna and UST. So you burn $1 worth of TRX, which is Tron, and mint $1 worth of USDD. Now, I know you're asking yourself, why in the world would I want to mint this stablecoin? I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this website here. This is USDD.io. I'll leave a link in the description below as well. But you can see here, you can earn 30% on your stablecoins. Do with this what you will. But it's very important to understand what is backing this stablecoin, what are the reserves made of, and what is the story behind this thing. Currently, USDD is riding on the coattails of the success of Terra and USD. Of course, this was before the collapse, but they saw the success with Terra and USD and saw how much value they were able to lock up and capture. This is where the USDD token was born. And with this birth, they had to create some utility for the TRX token. Now, I'm not creating FUD and all, I just want to give you guys some facts. Justin Sun has a lot of TRX. And there's a couple of problems with this. The first is the liquidity to sell. So if this guy wants to sell any of his tokens or any of his TRX coins, what does he have to do? He has to market sell it. What happens when you market sell or press red button? This caused the number to go down, which means you make less money. However, if you create a stable coin that is minted out of thin air by, well, burning Tron or TRX, he's got a bunch of Tron. I got you. Don't worry, guys. I'll go ahead and mint a bunch of USDD. And we got 30% yield. It's interesting. Do you want to get in? Cool. I'll burn a bunch of TRX. I'll get a bunch of this USDD. And now I have a bunch of demand. And I can use them as exit liquidity. Hey, here's some USDD. Go earn 30% on it. And I'm going to sell into you. Because I burned my TRX. I minted USDD. I now give the USDD to retail and in exchange, they're giving me money. And of course, it's not they're giving me TRX and I'm giving USDD. What's happening on the back end is when USDD is over peg or at peg, what he can do is sell USDD to retail. Preferably, this happens when USDD is over peg because if you kill the peg, then there goes all the confidence. So when it's trading at a dollar and one cent or a dollar and two cent, you can mint straight from the protocol at $1 worth and sell into retail at a dollar and two cent. When I say sell, what I mean is you're swapping your USDD for some USDC, some USDT, just different stable coins. So in theory, what has happened, I'll go ahead and sum it up, Tron or TRX is being burned to mint USDD. When USDD is now created, this USDD, as demand goes up, is now sold into the market for people who want to get this 30% yield. When they get this 30% yield, they're happy, they're awesome, but the person who traded into them, but what the retail doesn't understand is that the stable coins they traded to get the USDD are now given to the guy or sold into the guy, and now they have a bunch of this USDD. What happens when that 30% yield goes away? Or what happens when people lose confidence, they're tired of this game, and they want to sell out of their USDD? This is similar to what happened to UST and Terra. As more people sold, this destroyed the peg, and as you're minting TRX in order to bring the peg back up, you have several issues involved with this. You have reflexivity that happens as more TRX is minted and more TRX is being sold, this creates a reflexive flywheel in the down spectrum. When the down spectrum occurs, 
This means you now have less dollar value backing the USDD stablecoin. And eventually the collateral goes below. And when it goes below, you get into a scenario where you try to withdraw and they give you a bottle cap and a paper clip. And now you're unhappy because you gave them $1 and they give you a bottle cap and a paper clip. Because remember, how do you mint USDD? You burn $1 worth of TRX. How do you get your collateral back? When you return your USDD, they give you $1 worth of TRX. This is awesome and all, but if you have this cascading event, this $1 you initially get, there's no liquidity out there to buy up TRX. I mean, who wants to buy the dip? Do you guys remember when Luna went from $120 to, well, almost zero? But hey, it looks like Justin Sun actually realizes this. He says, Tron modifies USDD stablecoin to avoid the woes of Terra USD. He claims that the minimum collateral ratio will be 130%. Currently it's at 218, and actually if you go to the Tron Dow Reserve, it's currently 203%. Here's what the collateral is comprised of. About $430 million in Bitcoin, 140 million in USDT, 77 million in TRX, and 76 million in TRX again. Now, this is important to understand. You have collateral that is with crypto. If you have a cascading event in general in the crypto industry, what will happen with something like this is now your reserve is basically zero or the collateral you have is much less than what it was. This similar function and this similar action happened with MakerDAO. The collateral backing die at that time was only ETH. When ETH went on a cascading event and the transactions were congested on the chain, people were unable to sell ETH because one, the gas fees were too much and people weren't able to sell quick enough. Two is ETH was on a cascading selling event. People sell, 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 eventually to where DAI becomes under collateralized, where no one liquidates the vaults. And when no one liquidates, you have an issue of, well, when you would, all you get a bottle cap and a paper clip so these are some concerns with these type of stable coins i'm not calling die this type of stable coin i'm talking about ones similar to usdd and ust when you have collateral that when you withdraw you can only get trx you have this reflexive issue that goes down just like it goes up it can also go down i'm going to go and show you guys the market cap of usdd you saw what's on the reserve as you saw in the reserve, there's $430 million in Bitcoin. Now, that's if they pay out the Bitcoin. We saw how the payout of Bitcoin performed with Terra and UST. For all we know, did it actually go to protect the peg or was it just given? Time will tell. We'll see what happens. Just putting that out there. Here is the market cap of USDD. As you can see, it's climbing. Currently, there's 706 million of these USDD stable coins in circulation. So in theory, right now, it says on the protocol that it's over collateralized by 203%. But how much is the actual collateral in something that is not correlated to this asset? Well, you have USDT and you have Bitcoin. So in theory, this is about $570 million. So if you calculate that in, it's actually under collateralized right now at about 80%. So it's fractional. Now, when people are redeeming and time will tell, we'll see what happens if they actually get USDT. But when people are redeeming, they're going to be getting TRX. And when they get TRX, you guys get the point. You have the reflexive flywheel where people are selling TRX. They're also selling out of USDD. They're trying to get all the money they can back and you have a bank run scenario leave some links in the description below if you guys want to check out USDD and read some more information on it. But here are a couple things I want to leave you guys with for some food for thought. One, the collateral guarantee that they have of 130% minimum. What if the collateral goes to zero? Have you factored that in? What happens in a cascading event similar to the MakerDAO situation? Third, where is the 30% yield coming from? Is that just being paid out from new investors? Is that being paid from Justin Sun? If you don't know where the yield is coming from, typically you are the yield. Fourth, remember when Terra was supposed to backstop UST with Bitcoin? How did that play out? 
Not saying they didn't, just putting everything into perspective. Lastly, Justin Sun has a lot of TRX. Being that he has a lot of TRX, do with it what you will. I'm sure he would be happy selling some TRX in order to capture some profits. Time will tell. We'll see what happens as always, but we already understand that there is not enough liquidity for Justin Sun to market sell his TRX. So the thought that using USDD as exit liquidity, do with it what you will. Thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's go ahead and hit you guys with a wisdom one-liner. We're in Proverbs chapter 26 verses 18 and 19. Like a maniac shooting flaming arrows of death is one who deceives their neighbor and says, I was only joking. Yeah, dude. Taking that dart to the chest. It's on fire. I was only joking, bro. It's okay. No problem. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see some of our previous videos, there's one here, 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 and like there. You guys can go ahead and get started trading with the link in the description below. We'll see you in the next one.